My name is Mark Parry and I work as a teacher in various colleges and universities as well as a freelance instructional designer and video producer. In my freelance work I tend to work uh, very closely with schools, universities, colleges, um, community organisations, corporate organisations to design and develop learning materials, most of which would end up in an e-learning package but sometimes it uh, might be a designed for a standalone video, a short documentary, that type of thing. But primarily the purpose of the, the videos is to teach, teach something, to be incorporated into a, some sort of learning. In my teaching, I work at SAE College and I teach, um, I've taught various units over the last number of years. Um, one of which is documentary production. So we, we guide um, students through planning pre-production of short documentary, uh, and that takes place over 13 weeks. In the University of Notre Dame, I teach pre-service teachers, that is trainee teachers, how to use uh, technology and incorporate that into their learning and teaching. So some of the technology includes interactive whiteboards, but there's a whole heap of um, other software, computer software and applications that might be, um, might be used in some sort of either delivering lessons or planning for lessons, getting students to use them, teachers might be using them, things like blogs, um, the use of Twitter in education. So it's pretty open. We tend to place the syllabus or the curriculum at the centre so that it's a mindful approach of technology. It's not using the technology just for its own sake. I also work closely with teachers, university lecturers, tutors, other people that might be uh, related to the, to the training and um, learning and teaching training industries. Uh, TAFE I work with uh, closely as well. Uh, giving them instructional advice. Often they are the producers of their e-learning course. They are the content experts, the subject matter experts. They have a whole team of teachers. They might just need a little bit of um, advice or support in maybe selecting software or managing the, the process of content creation or content um, modifying existing content, that type of thing. So I, I help out with that. That might be as short as one day's work, um, just to maybe attending a meeting or something like that, or something that's a little bit more um, extended. So one aspect of my freelance work that I really enjoy is working across a whole range of areas that um, relate to learning and teaching. So in any one week, I might be working with hairdressing teachers and or a, I might then be uh, filming an interview with some psychology researchers. And then uh, maybe a couple of days later, I'm speaking to teachers about their approach to using technology in the classroom, um, or doctors, uh, how they relate to patients and communicate with uh, different stakeholders. So there's a, a really wide variety of, um, of people that I work with. And at the, at the heart of their requirements is always um, some sort of learning need, a learning um, or teaching requirement. So if you want to find out a little bit more information or maybe get some ideas about the types of approaches that might be interesting for a, an e-learning resource, then take a closer look at the various um, menu items of my website whether you're interested in um, adult learners like TAFE or vocational university, uh, staff professional development, that type of thing. There's a whole range of different approaches that might be taken um, in that regard, as well as um, students that are a little bit younger, maybe uh, high school students or primary school students. There's, uh, there's various sections that outline resources that are relevant for that age group as well as other, um, other projects that showcase resources that are maybe community 
uh, awareness raising, that type of thing that may not be linked so closely to an actual syllabus or a learning outcome.